Hello and welcome to Harvest Highlights. As always, the great British weather has thrown up a mixture of sunshine and showers this week. This has meant progress has been fairly patchy for most. In the south, about 60% of the crop area has been cut, whilst in the north this is likely to be slightly lower. Wheat will now be the main focus for the majority of growers. This brilliant video sent in by Richard Sudbury shows a crop of relay winter wheat coming in at 3.5 tonnes an acre on Christopher Hook's farm in Gloucestershire. Mr Sudbury managed to cut down 2.6 hours of combining into just under a minute and a half of footage using 1,900 photos. Imagine if all combining was that quick. Now we've also been receiving a lot of pictures showing wheat progress. These were sent in by Sue Morgan, showing a crop of JB Diego winter wheat being cut on Upper Pendry Farm in South Wales. This was coming in at about 17% moisture and 9.5 tonnes a hectare. There were even three combines going for Alban Wise Farming in North Norfolk, receiving yields of 11.5 tonnes a hectare from their Cougar winter wheat crop. From Wales to Norfolk to Ireland, the wheat harvest is progressing everywhere. In County Cork, Edward English's combine and tractors have been working through the last of their wheat and barley before they turn their attention to potatoes. They currently have about 30 acres of barley left and so far it's looked promising, coming in at about 15.5% moisture. Sticking in Ireland, Connor Buckley sent in this video of winter barley being harvested in the Midlands. This was contractors Helians working on Connolly's farm in County Offaly. Now coupled with the wheat, spring barley has been another crop which growers have really been getting stuck into over the bank holiday weekend and into this week. Obviously the year we had last season meant much more was planted and it has actually been very pleasing for a lot of growers. This video from Thomas Sheriff and Co shows spring barley harvest progressing well on Alex King's farm in East Lothian. Mr King has been cutting optic barley at 18% moisture. Now, oilseed rape is continuing to be one of the most variable crops, but the majority of growers will have seen disappointing yields. Coupled with this, many will have had a farming first of combining and drilling oilseed rape at the same time. Let's hope we're not in the same situation next year. And finally, it's not just your usual wheat and barley crops that have been harvested. We saw garlic a few weeks ago, and now the onion harvest is well underway, and it's good news for British onions. Onion specialist Stour Garden will this week welcome the full return of British onions into its supply for Tesco stores nationwide. Right, that's it for another week. Keep your videos and pictures coming in and we'll look forward to seeing you next week.